what's up again, y'all? Two tools in a row. Two tool videos in a row. Jason, shut up. We don't care about screwdrivers, dang it. But you know what? Yesterday when I was picking up that 14-in-1 Klein adjustable length screwdriver, I'm going to put the post up here in case you have missed it. Uh, be sure and go try it out. Try it. You might win it if you go watch the video. You just go watch it. It's video. Whatever. Uh, we I, when I was there buying that, I saw this, and what 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 got my eye in the tool section when you see doorknobs on a tool type thing, you're like, oh my god, they made something for locksmiths, but but uh, so I had to pick it up, and we have to talk about it. This is a Crescent Apex three and a half inch covered power bits two times more durable, 50% better grip with a U-Guard. What is a U-Guard? I don't know, we're gonna take a look at it and see. U-Guard, they guard, we all guard guard. This is a non-marring, safety, free spinning sleeve, protect your work, number two Phillips, with a limited lifetime warranty. Non-marring cover protects from scratching or damaging. Thin wall maximizes access. We just talked about the whole thin wall thing in that video of the 14-in-1. Uh, and I've talked about it in other videos, which is why I prefer this type of screwdriver. Now, this guy was hanging on the shelf. I don't know how old this is. I just literally just spotted it when I was looking for something else. So this thing may have been out for a while. Uh, but we're going to take a look at it and see. Obviously, it's meant to be used. Is it impact rated? It should be impact rated. Is it? Does it say impact rated? No, I don't see impact rating on here anywhere. So this may not... Oh, impact rated. There it is. I didn't even see it. So we are going to take a look at those. And I carry one of these. I'm, I'm digging in my pocket. See right here? I'm digging in my pocket down here. And here, somewhere down here, I've got, nope, not that. Best pair of pliers I've bought so far. Yeah, so there we go. We see a lot of us probably carry one of these. When I'm wearing jeans, I'll carry these in my little watch pocket. So the little, the little bitty watch pocket, these go side by side perfectly in. If I keep digging in here, I'll probably find a couple more bits. Uh, yep, there we go. So, yes, this is that and apparently designed to protect your work. Now, before I go and open this, there's one thing that you can use, right? It, if you're wanting the hand screwdriver portion of that, that's, that's an electrical screwdriver. Look, it's already, it's already built in. If you're that concerned now, and, and I mention this in every time, the hex shank style uh, drivers that have the you know, this type all the way down. I don't prefer those because when you're turning it against that, I feel like the hex shank may scratch it a little bit more than than just a smooth style would. Uh, but none of these, we're gonna, we're, gonna, we're gonna check this out. It comes with two of them. There were two of these side by side, one a little bit longer. So let's just check this guy out. It spins in. Uh, okay, so first things first. <laughs> first things first. I thought that moved down a little bit, but it doesn't. It's what? Okay, so that okay. <laughs> so literally, Crescent made a product that doesn't work. That's that's fascinating. Let's take a look. Let's take a little closer look at that. And when I saw this in the package, I thought that because of this gap, I thought that it may be pushed down out of the way. But when we look closer at it, we can see that is not the case. And they only leave you this this little bitty tip. So, so while it may while it may protect the work. <laughs> oh, how stupid are you, Crescent? It it doesn't even go. It doesn't even go in there because I was looking at it and I was like, that has to slide down. That is not nearly 
enough of a tip to go into it. <laughs> okay, this is hilarious. Uh, but again, it's designed to be used to work with a drill or an impact driver or whatever the case is. Oh, 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 there it goes. I got it. Okay, there we go. Well, you know, it, it kind of worked. I guess you could call that working, but how uh, how silly is it? Yeah, you can just go on the ground. I don't care about you. <laughs> All right, y'all. Well, there's not a whole lot to say about this besides the uh, the goofballs over at Crescent. Yeah, I'm talking to you, Crescent. Have y'all literally ever used this on the door lock? I don't know. <laughs> it's it maybe maybe you have, maybe you haven't. But where'd that other one go? That's uh, that's kind of hilarious that they made that like that. So I guess if you really wanted to use these, you could maybe maybe cut it. <laughs> cut it. So if you if you modify it, it would work. Let's go modify one. I think I just thought of a good way to modify this. What do you think, right about there? Oh. Oh crap, that doesn't work either. Because it rotates. Hmm. Okay, well. Let's just do this the hard way. Okay. I bet you that's gonna make it. Wait, where'd that piece go? Hold on. Did that have an inner look in there? No, it didn't. Okay, now let's <laughs> now, now let's try that again. Let me put this back together. Or here, let's, uh, we'll just do it with the drill. How about that? All right, so. This is one of those funny kind where you have to twist the knob, but we'll just put it in like a regular screw. So there you go. You immediately see that it is not going to work terrific out of the box. But it may, if I can get this started, there we go. It may work now. Scratched off that pretty easily. Where'd the other screw go? Screw fell down. Let's try this side. Probably could trim just a little bit more of it off. That's pretty hilarious that it's, uh, okay, hold up. Yeah, this actually seems to me like it's getting in the way more than it really should anyway. Come on, Jason. Steady hand. Okay. Let's try that one more time. <laughs> I love it when you open a tool up that's designed for something, especially when it shows it on the package, how it's to be used and exactly what it's to be used for. And uh, and then the, the, the people who made it made such a ridiculous mistake that it requires you to modify the tool. Yep. Yep. Yep, there we go. Let's look at the tip. Well, for that, for me to have, you know, of course, I, I kind of did that on purpose. I just wanted to see how well that 
tip holds up. Let's see. Ooh, I just ran right through that. <laughs> I think I broke that. just did that just to see how well that tip holds up because you know what I don't I just pretty much wasted my money it's just for this video uh, there's absolutely no way that I'm gonna be oh I pushed it down right there okay so it did go past right there so will it come off yep 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 If you keep pulling here, hold up. There we go. Huh. Okay, you know, I'll use it like that. That's broken now. This is this is kind of broken. I probably pretty much jammed it in there. Uh, well, there you go, y'all. Where's that other one? Kind of a silly gimmicky item, y'all. Gimmicky, gimmicky. Where'd the knob go? Let's uh, let's check it on another. <laughs> let's check it on another knob. Okay, here is a Schlag old F series. Uh, it's not as deep as the quick set, so it might work, but pretty extreme angle there. Let me go get another knob. Here we go. This is a broken something. I don't even know what this. I don't even know what this guy is, but let's check it and see if it'll even go. It's a cheapy, all hardware store type stuff. Let's give it a go. Let's see if we can get it. It's always hard to get the screw lined up when you don't have the latch on the door. So let's uh, give me a second to. Oh, there it is. Okay, where did that one go? Here we go. It's kind of weird. It barely reaches it, but like you can see, it's it's all up on the uh, it's all up in the recess. So absolutely useless for any type of uh, tight recess screws like that is on doorknobs. And also, I just really noticed that that's the look crescent. Hey, y'all. You know, the screws aren't on the key side of the doorknob. The, it, the screws are on the, the screws are on the inside, not the key side. Y'all are complete. They show a quick set lock there. We did it first on the quick set lock and you saw, just like I did. So anyway, in case you uh, are, you know, going down the aisle at the hardware place, and you spot these little orange guys and you think to yourself, hey, it's got a door lock on there. This may be just the right thing that I need to use. Just don't, don't. It's just crap. Don't go there. Anyway, I wasted my money on that. Thanks for watching. Make sure and hit that like button and uh, hopefully we'll, it'll cover the cost on, on silly power drill bits that are, don't buy those y'all. Thanks for watching.